Hey guys, my name is Dice Roll. Today we're going to be revisiting Wreck and learning some facts about this 2007 Spanish horror movie that you might not have known. This is a found footage style film directed by Jaume Balaguerro and Paco Plaza about a reporter and a cameraman who get trapped in an apartment building during a terrifying zombie outbreak of sorts. So now it's up to all those trapped inside to get to the bottom of the deadly disease before they're all killed, or worse. So without further ado, these are things you didn't know about the Wreck movies. Unknown actors were deliberately cast in Wreck so that the movie would seem more real. This is a trick that's been used quite a bit by other directors, particularly in the found footage genre. The actors also needed to be good at improvising if necessary. No sets were created for Wreck. Everything you see on screen was shot on location and nothing was fabricated after the fact. For one, it certainly makes the atmosphere more believable, and it does save time and money for the crew. The actors in Wreck had no idea what was going to happen. More specifically, they weren't given a whole script and thus didn't know if their characters would survive or not. At times, they were only given what was necessary for filming on the day they would be doing their scenes. I imagine that this made the actors more invested in their characters, and the hope that they'd survive. Following the concept of the actors having no clue what was going on, during the ending of the film in the dark apartment suite, the actors really couldn't see. When they're trying to find each other and not bump into things, that's not totally acting. Which also means they likely didn't know about the hideous thing lurking around them either. During the scene in Wreck where one of the firefighters plummets past the stairs, the actors were not told this would happen, so their reactions of shock and fear are absolutely genuine. If you pay attention during Wreck, there is a sculpture on top of the building that depicts a woman being grabbed by some kind of monster. It's very reminiscent of the final scene of the movie. However, the directors were unaware of the sculpture until the movie's release. The actor who had previously played Angela's cameraman returned in Wreck 2, as Rosso of the SWAT team. The names for both of the characters he played were literally his name, Pablo Rosso. The directors wanted Wreck 2 to feel like the audience was playing a first-person shooting game, so a gun barrel is constantly in the foreground. A majority of the footage we see in Wreck 2 is actually shot by the actors in the Special Forces team. The scene in Wreck 2 where Lara shoots herself is a reference to the death of Mariano Jose Lara. Manuela's wardrobe was the exact same in Wreck 2 as it was in the first film. Literally, those are the same clothes she'd worn before. Wreck 3 isn't quite a sequel and instead more of a parallel movie to Wreck. The dog mentioned by Tio Pepe Victor that bit him is in fact Jennifer's. We can also see news coverage of what's happening during the previous two films on the television in the control room Caldo goes to. Leticia Delero had played the part of Angela Vidal in a parody film, Spanish Movie. Wreck 4 was filmed mainly on a real oil rig ship, though some sets were created to allow certain scenes to be shot. The character Tristana Medeiros is the only one to appear in each film. Wreck was all filmed chronologically. Movie buffs will tell you that this is rather unusual, as most movies tend to be filmed in seemingly random order according to what scene requires what setting and such. But not Wreck. It does make sense though if you think about it. It would be quite difficult to go from a scene where you're being eaten alive by a kid zombie to cheerily interviewing firefighters for a late night show. Manuela Velasco, who played Angela, is a television presenter in Spain. She'd hosted a variety of shows before starring in Wreck, so in a way, pretending to be a reporter wasn't too far from what she was used to. Minus the zombies, of course. Wreck inspired a popular horror game. It likely won't be too surprising to see why JT Petty and everyone else involved in Outlast took inspiration from the movie. 
both star reporter slash journalist, make use of camcorders, and night vision, are in first person and are very high tension at times. Everyone who played as part of the Special Forces team in Rec 2 was given a day of intensive training in handling firearms. The Walking Dead comic artist Tony Moore has actually created a poster for the promotion of Rec 3 in the US, and fellow Walking Dead artist Charlie Adlard made the poster for the Rec 4 US release. Letitia Delara spent five days a week in the gym two months before filming for Rec 3 started. This was in preparation for the zombie killing scenes. So those were some facts about the Rec franchise you may not have known. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like to let me know. And don't forget to leave a comment down below telling me what other horror movies you'd like to see me dig up some facts about. Also, don't forget to share this video to help the channel grow and subscribe for more videos like this. See you later.